Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well. So in this video I thought I'd take a look at the loot on the labs map, specifically what I can get out of the labs map without paying a fortune for some of the big keys that are out there. I couldn't pay a fortune anyway, I don't have the kind of money that is, you know, needed to get some of these keys. But I watched a video by Veritas during the week and he had the security arsenal key and he had also the key for the small cage within that room and he was farming that and the overall outcome was that after about four hours averaging out the loot that he managed to get out he was making around a million rubles an hour farming that room and i thought well how much can i make in an hour farming the rooms that i've got and the keys that i've got are the experiments area the lab testing weapons area i've got lab block two, the medical block and the manager's office so i decided to do an hour's worth of hatchet runs on this map and there's fundamental differences between what i did and what very Veritas did, Veritas went fully geared, he was taking on PMCs and the Raiders, he was doing just that room and trying to extract each time with the loot. For me, I was going simply with my gamma container and of course my pockets, trying to get the best loot that I could from the closest locations and trying to extract. I didn't successfully extract every time, but I managed to get out more often than not. So I decided that I would try and hit the four rooms that I had keys for. Now, I didn't hit the experiments weapon area once and I didn't hit the plain old experiments area either. The two that I concentrated on was the manager's office and the lab block two. Mostly hitting lab block two more than the manager's office because the manager's office is a little bit harder to get to. I do find that lab block two doesn't get hit as much by PMCs as the manager's office does. Quite a few times I went to the manager's office and the door was already open so I turned around and run to the other side of the area to get into lab block 2 which generally was never unlocked and I just wanted to see what kind of loot I could get out and how much I could make within one hour so as you can see in the background this is the loot that I managed to get out a few little surprises and little gems there because you've got a graphics card in there I I'm surprised I didn't find more of those because I did hit a lot of computers while I was doing this. A lot of wires and capacitors, these were highly sought after when they first appeared in the game because they were needed for a task. They were going for a couple of hundred thousand each, they're now pretty much... I wouldn't say they're worthless, if you have a lot of them you can sell them for between 5 and 6 grand a piece at the moment. So they're kind of like a pocket filler, if I found more expensive loot then that would go, the wires would go into my pockets and the more expensive loot would go into my gamma container. So the wires and the capacitors are a sign of just how many times I managed to make it out of the raids because otherwise I just would have lost those, I didn't really value them too much. Recordable batteries, I did quite a few filing cabinets within this and I think I managed to get around 38,000 a piece for the recordable batteries. Obviously the cigarettes sell okay-ish, the Marlboro ones don't sell for much really anymore but the Lucky Strikes and the Winstons do sell pretty well still because obviously they're needed for a task and they're not as abundant as the Marlboro ones. Absolutely tons of meds. Now the meds made up the bulk of the money that I made at the end of this um, at the end of this little experiment if you like. Got lots of power cords, I've got some circuit boards, the uh, silver badges, I've got some weapons attachments, there's a gold chain in there. So I didn't do too bad off these raids. Oh, I also managed to get the uh, testing area weapons key as well, which sells for around, it's going for around 80,000 on the market, but the therapist will give you 75,000 for it anyway, so I just sold it direct to the therapist. The defibrillator, another one that's needed for a task, I managed, I think I got around 130,000 rubles for that. The gas analyzer, those are selling pretty well at the moment. I got, I think, around 35,000 for that. So I was really happy with the loot that I managed to get out. And once I got to the end of it, with it for hitting those rooms and the other areas around, I made 1.8 million rubles in one hour of hatchet runs on this map. So that pretty much smashes what is done by hitting the arsenal room. But as I say, as a hatchet, most of your stuff goes into your gamma. If you die, it doesn't matter. You keep that when you're hitting the arsenal room of course you need to get the stuff out there's a lot of weapons a lot of attachments you need a big bag when you go in so you need to make sure that you extract and that's the big difference is extracting 
and not extracting. So I just wanted to show exactly what can be done on this map for very little cost because at the moment the manager's office key is going for as little as 300,000 and the lab block key is going for around 100,000 so for 400,000 layout running just using the gamma and being a hatchet you can make your money back within what 20 minutes? which is quite amazing to me. There's people going all out to try and save the millions and millions that's needed to get like the arsenal storage key and things like that when really you don't need to. As I say, the medications made up the bulk of what I managed to get out of these raids and the medications alone, I think made me around 650,000. The stim pens, you know, I know that they've got all various uses, but they'd sell for between 12 and 22,000 if you're selling direct to the therapist. So they're able great way to make money gold chains the therapist would only give me around i think twenty five thousand for that i managed to sell it for almost a hundred thousand on the market so the prices right now are quite high figurines another one that doesn't really sell very much with the therapist i think i got around twenty five thousand a piece for those so it was a really good run and as i say for a one hour hatchet run on there there is just so much loose loot to pick up you know you don't need lots of keys all of the computer components that you can see on the screen wasn't gained in locked rooms they were just gained from the open offices that you can smash your way into and I, I just think this map's amazing the loot on there is unbelievable so i'm going to be looking to do a video on looking at specific rooms on the map obviously there's a lot of people out there that can't afford to get even these keys so i'm going to do a little guide and put together which rooms are most lucrative that you don't need keys for because Really, you don't need keys for this map if you want to farm and take loot off it. There is plenty of spaces to hit without needing keys. So I'm going to do a little video on that in the coming days as well. But yeah, 1.8 million for one hour's worth of hatchet runs. I don't think that's a bad return at all. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care.